Good evening class. Tonight I would like to talk about gravimetric calculations. In solving gravimetric calculations, there are two ways in order to answer the problems. First one is by using stoichiometry, a second one is by using gravimetric factor. Let's have an example. Suppose we have an ore sample weighing 1.500 grams. This ore sample contains many different minerals such as iron, silver, copper, and gold. We convert all these minerals to ions by adding strong acid and selectively precipitated silver as silver chloride upon addition of chloride. The resulting product produced a precipitate of silver chloride which weighs 0 0.2500 grams. Now the question here is, what is the percentage of silver in your original sample or sample? There are two ways to answer this problem. First is by using plain stoichiometry. Based on stoichiometric relationship, the reaction could have this balance equation. Silver is obtained from your ore sample and the precipitate the amount of precipitate is given which is 0 0.2500 grams now we can calculate the mass of your silver from the ore sample by using the mass of your precipitate and using these stoichiometric calculations mass of your silver converted to moles of silver chloride using the molar mass multiplied by the mole ratio one mole of silver chloride has one mole of silver finally converting the moles of silver to grams of silver so one mole of silver is 107.9 Grams. Finally, we can calculate the mass of the silver after this calculation, and that would be 1 point, 0 0.1882 grams. Now we can calculate the percent by mass of silver in your ore sample, which is 0 0.1882 grams over. The mass of your ore sample is 1.5000 grams multiplied by 100% and you get the percent silver in your ore sample which would then become 12.55%. Another means to answer the following problem is by using the gravimetric factor. The formula for the gravimetric factor is the molar mass of your analyte over the molar mass of your precipitate multiplied by the mole ratio of your analyte and of your precipitate. Multiplying the mass of your precipitate with your gravimetric factor, you can calculate for the mass of your analyte. So mass of your analyte would then become mass of your precipitate times gravimetric factor. So in the context of our example, our analyte is silver and the mass of precipitate is 0 0.2500 grams multiplied by the gravimetric factor. The molar mass of your analyte is 107.9 over the molar mass of your precipitate which is 143.32 multiplied by the mole ratio which is 1 is to 1. Finally you get same amount of product 0 0.1882 grams to get the percent by mass silver you divide the mass of your silver with the mass of your ore sample which is 1.5 grams times 100 percent finally you get the same 
number which is 12.55% let's have some examples from your textbook from your textbook problem 12-12 12 -12 -12. the question was what mass of copper iodate can be formed from 0 0.650 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate this means that your precipitate is copper iodate it is the one that is formed and your starting material is copper sulfate pentahydrate so basically we can just easily convert this one using stoichiometric calculation or gravimetric factor using stoichiometry we can calculate for the mass of your copper iodate from the mass of your starting material so convert this one to moles using the molar mass of copper sulfate pentahydrate so the molar mass of copper sulfate pentahydrate is 249.7 grams per mole of copper sulfate pentahydrate and multiply it with gravimetric ratio which in it which is in one mole of copper sulfate pentahydrate we also have one mole of copper iodate finally you convert the moles of copper iodate to mass of copper iodate in order to get the grams of copper iodate the molar mass of copper iodate is 413.35 grams per mole finally cancelling all the units what is left is the mass of your copper iodate copper iodate your analog so the mass of your copper iodate pentahydrate would be 1.076 grams this one is using stoichiometric calculation by using the gravimetric factor, we can get the mass of your copper iodate. Mass of your copper iodate is equal to the mass of your precipitate, which is 0 0.650. Your starting material, 0 0.650 grams times mass of your copper iodate. Molar mass of your copper iodate is 413.35. And molar mass of your copper, I copper iodate, copper sulfate pentahydrate would be 249.7 and the gravimetric ratio or the mole ratio then is 1 is to 1 so what you get is the same answer 1.07076 grams okay take note that in the numerator it should be the same substance that you want to calculate and at the denom denominator it should be similar to what is given in the problem we have problem 12.12-9 12 in school. It says, write an equation showing how, how the mass of the substance. Write an equation showing how the mass of the substance sought can be converted to the mass of the weighed substance on the right. So what was sought here and what was weighed? What was sought? was sulfur dioxide and what was weighed was barium sulfate in f what was sought was manganese chloride what was weighed was manganese oxide okay, let's answer only two for this for this we can use the gravimetric ratio or gravimetric factor in the case of a so how can we calculate for the mass of your one well can calculate using the grams of your barium sulfate times the molar mass of your what was thought was sulfur dioxide and barium sulfate multiplied by your gravimetric ratio which is one one is to one therefore it's only grams of barium sulfate times the molar mass of sulfur dioxide over molar mass of barium sulfate so this is the answer for A. You can even write the stoichiometric formula, but this one is a simpler one. In B, what was sought was manganese to write, and what was given was manganese 4 oxide. It's manganese 4 oxide. So the mass of your manganese chloride would be equal to the ma mass of your manganese oxide multiplied by molar mass of your manganese chloride 
over the molar mass of your manganese oxide times the mole ratio of 3 manganese chloride making use of the stoichiometric calculation we have grams of manganese chloride is equal to the grams of manganese oxide multiplied by the molar mass of manganese oxide which is 1 mole therefore it's the same thing we have mass of manganese oxide divided by the molar mass of your manganese oxide multiplied by the mole ratio which is 3 is to 1 and then finally multiplied by your molar mass of your manganese chloride so you will get the same thing let's have other examples that are given what was sought in letter C was indium and what was weighed was the precipitate of indium oxide so we want to calculate the mass of indium from the mass of indium oxide molar mass of indium over the molar mass of indium oxide then multiplied by the mole ratio two moles of indium is equivalent to one mole of indium oxide okay how about letter i what was given here was this compound what was weighed was boron oxide so how can we calculate for the mass of this long compound by using the mass of this one divided by the molar mass then molar mass of your saw compound and finally you have two moles of this one is equal to four moles of this one and this one can be reduced to one half or one mole of this one is equal to two moles of this one we can write the previous expression in this manner okay, let's have an, one more example 12.10 0 0.2500 grams sample of impure potassium chloride take note it's impure meaning it is mixed with other substances and addition of silver nitrate which is excess resulted in the formation of silver chloride precipitate having a mass of 0 0.2912 grams now what is the percentage of potassium chloride in your sample we can immediately calculate the mass of potassium chloride using the molar using the given mass of your silver chloride molar mass of silver chloride here then molar mass of potassium chloride and we have one is to one mole ratio so there's only one chlorine in silver chloride and one chlorine in potassium chloride so one is to one therefore we can immediately calculate the mass of your potassium chloride from the given 74.55 over 142.30 the final answer would be 0 0.1525 grams now we can calculate the percentage of potassium chloride from your sample percentage of potassium chloride would be 0.1525 grams over the mass of your impure sample which is 0.2500 grams times 100 percent the answer would be 61.01 percent okay let's have a more difficult example 12-20 what we have here is a sample of 1.0451 grams containing mercury and mercury is being added with paraperiodic acid using this equation the resulting precipitate is weighed as 0 0.5718 and what was asked was grams of your mercury chloride in the sample so you can solve this by using the gravimetric factor or by using stoichiometry. So let's answer first by using the gravimetric factor, which would then become the mass of your precipitate over the mass of your molar mass of your precipitate. And here is your molar mass of your anion. The stoichiometric ratio or the 
mole ratio will then become 5 over 2, meaning 5 moles of this is equivalent to 2 moles of this. The molar mass of your mercurius chloride Hg2Cl2 would be 472.09 and the molar mass of your precipitate would then become 1448.8 then multiplied by the mole ratio which is 5 over 2. Finally, we can calculate the answer which would then become 0 0.4660 grams of Hg2Cl2. That means the percentage of mercurous chloride percent by mass in your sample would be 0 0.4660 grams over the mass of your impure sample 1.01 1 1.0451 grams multiplied by 100% and you get 44.59